And then tomorrow this is the comes and I will be far away. It's going to be Banks in the pink colours. Like to see the pink colours back and named, uh, the boat named after the pleasure of the club. Uh, Under the leadership of Peter Fraser, the Australian Henley on the Yarra Regatta re-emerged as the penultimate regatta on the Australian rowing calendar, and it came with all the splendour, controversy and club rivalry Australians expect in a top sporting event. And because Henley on the Yarra holds a record as a regatta to attract the most spectators ever in the Southern Hemisphere, and because it was the 100th running of this historic regatta, Rosemary Richardson of Mercantile Rowing Club was invited to organise a sell-out cocktail party at the Melbourne Arts Centre on the Thursday evening prior to the running of the 100th Australian Henley on the Yarra Regatta. I heard that John Bolt was going to come down and propose uh, the toast for Fiesel to Henley. Okay, Fergus, would you put your hand in? And the winner of the concept to Ergo is Bill Gary. How do you think the Henley Regatta will go today? I hope it will go very well now. The weather is going to be kind to us. Uh, we've got a good turn up. Uh, the setting down there looks great. Uh, so, uh, no, I've got high hopes for it, Michael. And this is it. the 100th Henley? It is the 100th Henley and it's also the 100th running of the Silver Skulls. And we have a row past of previous winners. There's a, uh, about 15 golden oldies are going to uh, row down the course. Uh, to commemorate that hundred years of the Silver Scalp. It's not the rowing, it's the problem, it's the bloody getting in and out. finishing line comes the Silver Skulls for the Jim Howard Memorial Trophy and uh, great to uh, have uh, Elaine Howard the Good luck in your uh, representing Victoria and Australia, Tony. Coming up. Good luck. How is it? 
that I'm always wondering is gonna make it to my pants next. I guess it's my age, I guess it's my history, but I guess in a way it's not really that much of a mystery. It's time to stop asking silly questions and just do what feels best. I need your help. If you got the time, come here and take off my dress. I need your help. If you got the time, come here and take off my dress. My head rests. Uh, David Webster, um, when Mercantile caught the crab, did you think that you are going to win? Uh, I got a little shiver down the down the spine. It gave me, I think we jumped about six points of rate when they uh, when I called it. But you know, they're they're a good crew, so you know, they'd probably deserve to win today. From uh, our wonderful government who's supporting us today. So Mercantile Rowing Club winners of the Grand Challenge Cup for 2014. Thank you, thank you. 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 Thank we had a little crew which has allowed us all the university to go past and that's uh, Chris Hailbury coming down to win their event. Uh, we've raced down the court before. Controversy reared its head when the starters sent off a men's race shortly after starting a women's race, which meant the crews clashed 300 metres out from the finish line. Melbourne University immediately protested and demanded a re-row and the course commentator, Roger Wilson, a former top oarsman for Mercantile and veteran commentator, called on the starters to be sacked. Yep. Uh, we'll call for a re-row on race 86 because of interference. MUBC versus Scotch College. Uh, I've just been informed by the Regatta referee, head of the jury, Glenn Bottrell, race 86 will be rowed again because of interference. The Brian Doyle Challenge Cup for the men's under 21-8 between Melbourne University and Scotch College will be rowed again as soon as possible. The most significant change to the Henley on the Yarra Regatta of the past hundred years has been the replacement of beauty contests and fashion parades by women and schoolgirls actually racing from the mid-70s on. And this in turn has been rewarded by Victoria being the most successful state in Australia in women's rowing. Welcome, welcome to the Australian Henley Regatta. 
Now, if you didn't know, the regatta is one of Melbourne's greatest sporting contests. It's one of its most loved events. It's held in our city with the most iconic location. Now, since the inaugural event in 1904, people have gathered along these banks to cheer on the Richmond, train. what a terrific performance by the club, winning the under the sea grade Cox Women's Lake today. First time winners of the Lord Mayor's Challenge Cup, the time on the event, the women's under 21, Cox Lake. And Cox by Tobias Benjamin. And Cox by David Briggs. It was a problem as we uh, noted that uh, the race following uh, caught up with this uh, particular race. So the regatta officials, after discussions with the crews, decided to re-row the race. <laughs> Never gonna let you in. Never gonna let you in. 